Okay, uh, basically, recently, it, it, uh, I, I was wondering what was going on, because we lost like a hundred subscribers last week. Really? Yeah, and I was like, I was like, okay, we didn't do any political videos, at least not any that I've published yet. What the hell did everybody go? <laughs> like, it's like nobody complained. Or something. What YouTube did was they cleaned house. Basically, so everybody on YouTube lost subscribers for the most part. Any accounts that they deem to be inactive, and I'm sure there's millions of them. You know, people oh, have. You know, yeah, okay. Yeah, people hadn't logged in for months. They have removed these. From the counts and the metrics and the subscriber I things, I, and I and I agree that's a good thing to do. It's just they didn't tell anybody they were going to do it, so everybody on YouTube is probably like, "What the hell did we do?" <laughs> it's because your views are never the same as. Your oh, oh yeah, I I know. Our, our views on average are ten. Our, our views on average fall somewhere. But our average views. Uh, if you take all the views we've had and the number of videos that have been uploaded over here and you, you just average it out. I mean, some things have thousands of views. Other things have less than 100. But if you average it out, our view ratio is between 10 and 15%. So if we have X subscribers, our average view ratio is about 10 to 15%. I don't know where that stands in relation to anyone else's YouTube channels, yeah. but the, the numbers are so disproportionate. It's weird. It's because I even have videos where... <laughs> I, they have so many views that I'm, I'm, I mean, it's it's beyond subscription based, you know, tenfold. Oh yeah. Uh, some of them, it's just uh, the, 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 the subscription to view count never jives at all. And and and, and you know, I can't never make heads or tails of that because I mean, if you. I don't pay attention to it, man. You know, I, I don't pay attention to it. I, I, we, do, we, we do the videos over here to do the videos over here, but it's one of those things every so often you take a look at it and you're like, huh. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, you don't have to make an effort to subscribe. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh. oh, da, da, da. Okay, on to the Google dumb. That's We have... Easter eggs and Android, they're, they're minor things. It's basically features. Um, you know, Chrome's coming to Android, things like that. No, nothing major. Uh, you asked me that. We talked about that last week. Yeah, it, it, it's a good thing. Um, Entertainment uh, devices expected from Wonder Woman. Yeah, this is weird. Basically, this is... Um, Stating that, good God, well, uh, was this the TV or the song? You know what? Bring it. Uh, you know what? I have all of them. Uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, do it. Break the cable company. Oh, now, see, the that's the thing. Content. Are they you know, going to be allowed to break the cable company? Microsoft is hedging their. Th this is the interesting thing here. Microsoft is backing the cable companies, they're, they're trying to back the standard model. Uh, and, and and Google and Apple are trying to make their bread and butter off the idea of die cable company, die direct TV, die dish network. Hey, HBO, come directly to us. Showtime, come directly. Hey, Paramount, come directly to us. Universal, come directly to us. You don't want to deal with those people anymore. Come to us. <laughs> it's like, and you know, I, I, I agree. What it we is. We need to move on. I mean, you know, these stars and HBO. You know what? They make their own shows, and that's great. And you, then you compete with a, a yeah. other production companies. But I'm done with this whole. I want a la carte, and that's the end of it. Yeah, I want it on my schedule, or I have a crazy schedule. It's like I, I, I will gladly watch your stuff, but I want just, just to get rid of the four middlemen between me and yeah. you. You know, it's like, <laughs> and that honestly is what all of us want. Because what it is is right now you have you, then between you and the people who made the show is the distributor, the cable company, whatever, or our satellite or whatever. Then there's the person who wholesold it to them. Then there's the studio, in, in, in most cases, there are, there are actually cases being made skipping the studio step right now, but usually you have a studio involved, which then has people, which then goes to the artists and directors and actors and uh, actresses and, you know, the, the thespians who actually make the content. So it's like there's literally four middlemen in between the content being made and it getting to you, all of whom needlessly mark it up. And, you know, the reality is... It, 
th these people who are most directly responsible for making it, and you, it, 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 like ninety percent of your money disappears before it ever reaches them. I hate. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's much more to say because I just, I find, I'm just here to the, the whole. I, I don't even really get to watch TV much anymore. I, I, I frankly, I don't even care. I, I told you, I got rid of mine. The only thing I'm missing is Doctor Who. I'm a year I, behind. I, I, have, uh, I, I am a year behind in Doctor Who now because the BBC will not let me get content directly from them, and I hate them for it. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm just uh, uh, now. You know, I, I live well. I, you know, I mostly do work, but most of my content that is viewed now is on my computer. I, I, I would love to do it on the TV, but my TV right now. I, there's not much on. I get I get really frustrated. Uh, there's not number one. There's not very many good shows that I like anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm very particular, and I'll admit that I'm very subjective to it. There's very few shows that can maintain my attention span before I get extremely bored or think it's a pathetic story. So the uh, that's one thing. But I always enjoy the History Channel and Discovery Channel. But you know what? I hate paying the damn prices. The cable company one, and I can't get it down to like a basic package where I just want to pay X amount, which is very little, and then and, and, and just get those channels. Oh no, they put they put all the combination of those channels in higher packages that cost seventy bucks. Yeah, and they can they can go shove it. I'm never going to pay that. They will not have me as a customer until they get off their ass and make things out of cart and make the price reflect what I want. I could give a crap about getting another hundred fifty channels. I'm, that I'm never going to see for you. No, see, that's the thing. You buy 200 plus channels and you care about 10 of them. It's like, just let me buy the 10 I care about. <laughs> I'll be paying more per channel. That's okay. I bet you could get those 10 I want down to 25 bucks. <gasps> wow. I just, aren't you, I mean, doesn't that, uh, I don't get bored about that? Oh, that's what, that, that, you're talking to exactly why we got rid of the cable here. I am paying... Uh, like less than 30 bucks for Hulu, Netflix, and some other um, channels on the Roku over here. And like I said, the only thing I'm missing is Doctor Who. I mean, Ancient Aliens, a lot of the History Channel and Discovery things, at least the ones I cared about, are on Netflix. You know, because they were pushed to DVD, so they're released to Netflix. So I can get them in there. I'm okay with waiting a little bit. I mean, I've, I've, I'm, I've watched more How the Universe Works on Demand on Netflix than I ever did through yeah, the sign because they were never scheduled on when I wanted them yeah. and the DVR never had enough space. Yeah. <laughs> I see your point, yeah. <laughs> so, that's that. <laughs> yeah, that's that.